the stand right behind me in this big oak tree has been a really fun spot to hunt over the years. I'm looking out into about a seven acre bottom field. And most years this is either in corn or beans. And uh, I think the person I bought this from would actually harvest this field, but there's enough deer damage in it and so forth that typically there's not a whole lot down here by the time it gets you know harvest time. So we've just been leaving it as a food plot. But you pull a lot of deer out of this timbered area around here and they pile into this bottom. So it's fun from the standpoint as you get to see a lot of deer, usually. Uh, it's been a little bit challenging as a bow hunter because most of the deer are going to be out of bow range, which can be a little bit frustrating because they're sitting there watching all this action, but so much of it is taking place that, you know, too far away. However, uh, every once in a while, you'll get one that will come through here. There's a trail right along this edge, and they do kind of funnel down and go through uh, that corner of the field into a crossing. So you do have a little bit of a bottleneck effect out in front of the stand here. Uh, but it's been, uh, like I said, a lot of fun, but a little bit frustrating. So over the years, I've actually moved the uh, redneck trailer blind into this field. And I've been able to see the action from this tree stand, see what the deer are doing, and then move a trailer blind closer to where it looks like the deer are feeding at. That doesn't always work either. But we have had some success here over the years. Uh, this one, uh, I'm trying to think if it was what year it was. It might have been 2010. Uh, I'm not sure 100%, but it was, I know it was November 7th because I always try to keep track of the dates of all these hunts. That way I can, you know, over the course of all these years, uh, figure out which dates are the best. It was Mike Sawyer, November 7th, maybe 2010. And he had a really nice 10 pointer coming across this cornfield. Uh, just a buck out cruising, looking for does. It was a afternoon hunt and uh, you know, he made a good shot on the deer. It just We had to come back the next morning and look for him. He thought that maybe the shot wasn't as good as it was, but the deer only went about 40 yards off the field. But uh, that was one example of, of uh, a time when we did get something within range here. We've had some really good hunts where really good bucks. Like I remember one we called him uh, Big Junior. He was showing up out in this field on the other end. Couldn't call him in. Even this past season, uh, there was a buck that I was trying to hunt here. It was a deer I'd call Scarface. Uh, tried to call him into this stand, couldn't get him. He stayed out in the middle. Uh, so it's been a good one for at least seeing deer. Uh, but the challenge, again, like I said, of putting a, a bow hunting stand on the edge of a larger field like this, uh, it can be really tough to get them within bow range. But this one's set up from the standpoint of the, of the wind and the access, and that's why it was in that tree. On a southeast wind, the scent would blow up that little hill and little valley behind the stand and away from any deer that, was, that were coming into the field. Uh, so we could access it by coming in from the northwest, dropping down over the top of that little uh, ridge top behind the stand, get into the stand, and you know we, we didn't uh, mess it up. You know, even at the end of legal shooting time, a lot of times we could sneak out of there without spooking the deer. So that was why the stand, why we hunted this stand, uh, could have been any other stand almost uh, uh, arbitrarily around this field and done almost as well. But this one set up for entry and exit, and we had one wind that we could hunt it uh, safely without the deer getting downwind of us. Uh, so again, the, the takeaway from this stand is that uh, it's hard to hunt big fields like this with a bow. Uh, you put in a lot of time, see a lot of deer, and every once in a great while you'll get one within bow range.